What is up guys, welcome back to another flea market grab video. If you guys are enjoying these videos, hit that like button and let me know and it helps the channel grow. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. I try to respond to all the comments I can and hit that sub button if you guys are not already and you guys do enjoy these videos. So first off, I just wanna apologize for no videos in the past couple weeks. I've been having like camera issues, um, but everything should be sorted out now. So hopefully we can get back on track now. So let's go ahead and get into the fines for this week. Man, overslept today, <laughs> but I did get here like an hour later, but I did find this just now for 10 bucks. So I guess it's all right. A little dirty, but nothing a little cleaning can do. These are pretty cool. Still brand new in the thing with the certificates of authenticity. Numbered. Might pick up a majority of them picked up a pair of Laney fives had to pay up a little bit I paid 45 um, but I got them for personal wear which is why I did it because they're a size 10 they are my size and um, it's a pair that I've been wanting for a while so went ahead and scooped them up and I think it's only right she said these are five bucks a piece or two for ten and then these are ten each all right so I just went through that whole wrap or that whole pile of clothes and I dug this stuff out not the cards but all this is a dollar each we got it's a bunch of like band shirts that i've never really heard of but they're all older ones whatever this one is wonderland the necro tones adam and the ants uh bra i don't know <laughs> switchblade symphony this oh not this one indiana jones this world of warcraft one Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. The 2000 Duran Duran. Alien Detector, but this next one though. The 94 Josie and the Pussycats T. Uh, I don't know what this is. German Band from 93. Love and the Rockets. Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds again. And then Clan of whatever. <laughs> yeah. All those will be a dollar each. This one right here is my favorite one, definitely. I'm gonna look and see if I can find some more. Eh, two bucks. I haven't found any of these in a while. I don't think I've ever seen small ones like this. They're always like, you know, normal size. These are from O2. Now, on They want 30 for it. <sighs> Can't do 30. It's a little too much. It's really clean though. All right, guys, we are back. So let me go ahead and show you the stuff that I picked up. So starting off the video for only 10 bucks, I picked up this uh, Pokemon starter gift box. I just thought it was cool because it's still in the box and everything. And I remember having this when I was younger. The box and everything is still in good shape. It is, it doesn't have everything on the inside. As you can see, it has like the rules and then it has the energy of the trainers and then it has the coin which is kind of cool, I guess. But the main reason why I wanted this was just to put on display, even though they were Morgan's cards. Just this art on the front, everything's just nostalgic to me. So I wanted to go ahead and grab this, then I'm gonna put it over here somewhere. And then for three bucks, I picked up this uh, fat Pikachu plush. You know how he used to be originally, you know how he was originally before he lost a bunch of weight. This is an original 1997 or 1998 plush. He does not have the tag on it, but um, I do have the same exact one right here. Um, mine's way more yellow. This one's a little bit faded. That's 1998. But I figured I'd pick this one up because the way Pokemon is right now, um, I figured somebody would want this one. Moving on, so I actually picked up seven of these. All still brand new in the styrofoam. And it's actually these WCW uh, steamed like collector plates right here. And as you can see, they all have certificates of authenticity and they're all numbered. And like I said, I have seven of these. Steam was always my favorite WCW wrestler, him and DDP. So uh, when I seen these, I wanted to pick them up. Picked up one for my personal collection and then the rest, I don't know. Maybe I'll take to the DFW Vintage Swap Meet. So I, I'm gonna be doing that again. Moving on, I picked up two hats. First one I picked up is this Nautica Performance hat right here. I don't usually pick up a lot of Nautica stuff, but um, I thought this one was really cool, so I went ahead and scooped it up. I did have to pay 10 bucks for it, but I figured maybe I can get like 25, maybe $30 for this one. You have the Nautica Performance right there on the front. 
then you have like the stripes going all the way around and on the back you have the USA right next to the stripe. So that is the first one. And then the second one I picked up again for 10 bucks, but again, a really cool hat. We got the Nike corduroy hat right here in like this navy blue color. Nike swoosh on the front, as you can see, an all over blue corduroy. That one is a Velcro back. We have a little Nike swoosh back there and there is the Nike tag. Still really clean overall too, so I went ahead and scooped this one up. For two bucks, I picked up this nice little family of polo bears, the big, medium, and small one. And these are actually from 2002. So for only two bucks, I figured this was a decent deal on these. Now let's get into the clothing items. So I actually picked up 15 shirts um, from this guy. He just has a table. All his clothes are a dollar on the table. And I actually found 15 shirts in there. But before I get into those, I'm gonna show you guys these jerseys real quick. So the first jersey I actually picked up for five bucks. Um, this is from a whole different person. Or else these probably would have been like a dollar as well. But we got the 76ers champion jersey right here, number 20, snow. And that one is actually a youth size small. So even though it is a youth size, it is still very clean. And it was only five bucks, so I've scooped it up. And then the better jersey, uh, I actually had to pay up for this one though. I paid 30 bucks for this jersey, but definitely worked it in my opinion. It is the Nike Authentic Michael Jordan Washington Bullets jersey right here. And that one is a size 52, double XL. As you can see on the front, you got bullets number 23, jock tag down there, 52 wizards. And on the back, you have the Jordan stitched in number 23. And as you can see, the stitching looks good on that one. So she was asking 30 bucks and she didn't want to go down, but I didn't want to leave it. So I went ahead and paid the 30 bucks which is still a great deal on this jersey. It does have a couple little light stains on it here and there, but I should be able to get them out. Now let's get into the 15 tees that I picked up for $15. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, a lot of these bands, I do not know who they are. I do know a couple of them, but not all of them. So I'm just gonna go through them um, and let you guys see them. The first one uh, we got is the Adam and the Ants tee right here. And that one is a size XL. Next up, we have the Necrotones, Tons, Necrotons. I'm assuming it's Necrotons because it's like a tonic or whatever. That one is a size XL. On the back, you have Dying, Dead, Rotting, Undead, and Undead is Czech. Third one we got is this one right here. Do not know who that is. And then on the back, you have Wonderland. That one is on the old Fruiting Tag size XL, single stitched. We got the Clan of Zimox, Hidden Faces T. Probably mispronounced that. That one is on the All Sport Tag, again, size XL. I'm pretty sure the majority of these are a size XL, now that I'm thinking about it. And as I say that, I pulled out a smaller one. We got the um, Nick Cave and the Bad Seed T. That one is on the old Haynes Tag, size large single stitched. This one does have some stains in it, but it's a white tee, so um, what do you expect? Then we have this one right here, Love and Rockets. That one's on the giant tag, size large. And on the back you have all the tour dates. Then we have this one right here. I don't know, it looks like it's like a German band or something. I have no idea. And that one is a size XL, again, single stitched. And then on the back you have all the tour dates. And that one's dated 1993. Next one we got is the Alien Detector T. The Xenon coated figure above will flash red in the presence of any alien. That one again, size XL. The old Haynes tag, single stitched. And then on the back you have Schwa. Next up we got this one right here, the Duran Duran T. You can see you got the band on the front. That one is on the old Haynes tag as well. And then on the back you have all the tour dates. That one's dated 2000. We got another Nick Cave in the Bad Seed C right here. But this one is just like the band name on the old Haynes heavyweight tag. On the back you have the cities and then this one's dated 1998. Moving away for the band tees for two tees here. We got the World of Warcraft tee right here. That one is a size XL. And then on the back you have the uh, big graphic right there. This one was kind of disappointing. Um, because it probably was one of my favorite ones in this lot. I mean, you guys can tell I collect my video games. So this one was cool. It is the um, Indiana, the Lego Indiana Jones tee right here. And that one's a size XL. So it is my size, unfortunately, down here. I guess there was a hole and someone stitched it up, as you can see. So this one was repaired, which kind of sucks. But still pretty cool for only eight bucks. The next one we have is the Switchblade Symphony one right here. That one's on the Marina tag, size XL. Kind of looks like Alexa Bliss. Then we have this one right here, Baja. I don't know. I have no idea what this one is either. <laughs> but that one is a size XL as well. And then last but not least, my personal favorite one. I wish there was more of these like cartoon tees, but they were all like those old band tees, which I'm not complaining. I'm sure there's people looking for those, but this one right here is definitely my favorite one. And that is the Josie and the Pussycats tee right here from 1994. And as you can see, that one is on the old Fruit of Loom, size medium. 
single stitched. Kind of sucks out of all the tees. They're like most of them were XL, but of course this one was a size medium. So um, I cannot keep this one. And that one is dated down there, 1994. And for it to be a white tee, this one is still super clean. So this one I'm gonna probably hold on to and uh, take with me to the vintage swap. Like I said, I am gonna be doing the next one again. So if you guys are going to the DFW vintage swap meet, um, definitely come say what's up. So that's all of 15 of those shirts. And I got all 15 of those for only 15 bucks. And um, I'm assuming that at least the Josie and the Pussycat shirt's probably like $150, $200 tee. So um, I need to go through the rest and see what they're worth. I haven't had the time to do that yet. And then the last thing I picked up for this video is a pair of sneakers. And that one pair of sneakers is actually my size and I will be holding on to. And that pair is a pair of the Laney Jordan 5s right here. So funny story on these. Uh, somebody actually had these in their hand when I walked up. They are my size, size 10. But they didn't want to pay the price that the guy was asking. He was asking 50 on them. At least that's what he told him. Um, but he didn't want to pay the 50 bucks. He said it was way too much for this shoe. So he put them down and left. And then I picked them up. I noticed they were a 10. So I asked how much they were. Um, and the vendor told me he would do 40 on them. So I ended up picking these up for only 40 bucks. Super clean still. They do have a couple little scuffs on the toe, but a little bit of white Angelus paint will fix that right up. But as you can tell, like the netting and the bottoms are still super icy. They are a little dirty though. And then there is the other one. And they still have the lace locks, which is another big plus on these. I did have to pay 40 bucks for these, but they were one that I wanted for my personal collection. So I was okay with that. So those are my flea market grabs for this week, guys. Again, sorry about no videos the past couple weeks, um, but hopefully I got the camera stuff figured out now and that uh, we can get back on schedule. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit that like button it really helps the channel grow i really appreciate everybody who hits that like button and drops comments that's what like gets the video to get recommended to other people so i really appreciate y'all and hit that sub button if you guys did enjoy it and you are not subbed yet and i'll see you guys next week with another one so later Where have you been? been searching all along confessing twilight no to be